Today's video starts on page 13 in your packet 1E. Um, as you can see, this is the review for the unit interim test. I'm going to leave, uh, I'm going to do some of these, but I'm going to leave this first page 13. Those multiple choice questions show work and then get an answer. So make sure you're showing work. So on to the next page, 14. I'm going to do uh, letter B here, number six, letter B. Um, and this is yes, four tenths, um, which means that denominator is 10. Four, three, and four tenths. I'm going to clear the ratio in this problem and multiply each term times 12 the least common denominator of 4 and 3. I won't get rid of that decimal, but I'm okay with that. So 4 goes into 12 3 times, and 3 times that numerator, 3 times x, 3x. Three, 3 goes into 12 4 times, and that's negative 4 times that quantity, that expression, 1 minus x. So I'm going to have to distribute that negative 4 to that quantity equals 12 times 4 tenths would be 4 and 8 tenths. So distributing carefully, negative 4 times 1 would be negative 4, and negative 4 times negative x would give me positive 4x. So I'm distributing that negative 4. And I get 4 and 8 tenths on the right side. So 3x and 4x gives me 7x minus 4. Don't skip steps. Show work. You know, leave space, write big, make sure you're seeing everything that you're doing, being careful. And I get 7x equals 8 and 8 tenths. I'm going to divide by 7 on both sides, and I have a complex fraction answer. So I'm going to move that decimal over in the numerator by multiplying by 10, which means I have to do the same to the denominator. Whatever you do to the dividend, you have to do to the divisor, same thing. So now I have 88 over 70, which reduces to 44 over 35, which is fine. I would leave that answer 44 35 If you want to know on a calculator, it's a repeating decimal because we're dividing by 7, so I know it's going to be a repeating decimal. 1 and 2 tenths. 5, 7, 1, 4, 2, 8. And just the uh, from the hundreds on is repetent. Um, I'm also going to do number 8 here. Customers enjoy a discount when they shop at Young Living. The original price of a diffuser is $90. Let R represent the percent discount. So 10% off or 20% off or 30% off. Write a linear equation to find the discounted price Y dollars of the diffuser. Well, I don't know what the percent off is, so I'm just going to use R to represent that percent of discount. And to find that price, I would take my $90 and multiply it by the percent of discount, which you take from 100%, which is 1%, and then subtract that discount, say it's 20%, you would say 1 minus 0.2. But here, I don't know what it is, it's just represented by R. So that is the equation that represents the discounted price at any discount, R. Find the percent discount given if a customer paid $54. So now I know the cost, which is the Y. So 54, I'm just going to plug that into my equation that I wrote in the first part, equals 90 minus what percent of discount? I don't know. So I'm going to distribute that 90, and I get 54 equals 90 minus 90 R's, subtracting 90 from both sides. I get negative 36 equals negative 90 R's. Dividing by that negative 90, I get 4 tenths equals the rate, the rate of discount. So it wants to know, find the percent. Well, 4 tenths changed to a percent would be 
a 40% discount. So purchasing that diffuser at $54, it must have been 40% off. I'm also going to do 9B. I'm going to clear this ratio of dividing by y by multiplying by y. And these cancel and I get 4 tenths times x minus 3 equals 4 y's. Uh, 4 tenths times x distributing, I get 4 tenths x. And 4 tenths times negative 3 would give me 1 and 2 tenths equals 4 y's. I'm going to, because I'm solving for x, so I want x by itself, which means I have to add 1 and 2 tenths to both sides, and then I get 4 tenths x equals 4y plus a positive 1 and 2 tenths, dividing by 4 tenths each term, I get x equals 10 y's plus three. 10y plus 3. x equals 10y plus 3. So I solved for x in terms of y, meaning my answer has a y in it. On this page, I'm going to do number 12. The company Abigail uses for telephone service charges her a fixed amount each month plus a certain amount per minute of talk time. The graph shows her monthly total charges for her telephone service. Part A, write a linear equation for the monthly total charge y dollars in terms of talk time x minutes. So to write an equation, I need my initial amount, or what's my y intercept, where it's starting, right? There's a fixed fee, which I can see here is $15. And I also need to know my slope the rate, the cost per minute of talking. And uh, I can see that if I go up 5 and over 10, I'm hitting another nice, easy point to read. So delta y over delta x, up 5 and over 10, or 50 cents. Um, so now I have a slope. I have a y-intercept, so uh, I can write an equation in slope-intercept form. So y equals mx plus b. My rate is 50 cents per minute, plus my uh, y-intercept is an initial charge of $15. So y equals 5 tenths x plus 15. Find the slope, oh, I already did that. Find the slope of the graph and explain what information it gives about this situation. Well, the slope is 5 tenths or 50 cents. So it's telling me that 50 cents, 50 cents per, I'm going to use both labels, cents, do, charge is dollars per minute. is what is charged or the telephone company charges you can say it that way uh, 50 cents per minute is what is the charge I'm going on to the next page and the last one I'm going to do is this number 31 find the values of x and y I'm going to just set this one up so I have a rectangle. I have to find x and y. Oh, it's a system of equations in a geometric problem. So width equals width. So I know that 2 plus x equals y. Oh, 3y. And length should equal length. So 2 plus x, 2 plus, 2 plus x. plus 5y has to equal 3x. So you should get your x and y's on one side of the equation and your constants on the other, and then solve the system of equations, either using substitution or elimination to find x and y, and then tell me the perimeter of the rectangle. 
and that's it for today's video.